and you have to click on register now again right so now we have to select a category and i'm going to go for it so now you'll be presented with an application form for creating your account so read through that and give the details accordingly So for creating a password here, there are some predefined guidelines that you have to follow. So those guidelines are, there has to be an uppercase letter and a lowercase letter and there also has to be a number present and there has to be a special character as well like exclamation mark or at the rate or hash or any of them. So an example password would look like this, capital P A S S small W O R D at the rate 1. So your account has been created and you'll be presented with a difference ID. So it's better to take a snapshot of this. Now click on continue. Yeah, and you have to type your password again. So now the TCS portal has been opened. So your account has been created successfully. Now click on the application form. So there are some basic instructions defined here. You can give a quick look at all of these instructions. Then after you've done that, click on start filling the form. Now some of the details have been grayed out. So they have already been filled. So all those that are in white, you have to fill those. Now click on save and continue. So now you have to give your academic details. So click on continue. Now check if all the fields regarding your BTEC is filled or not. If not, then fill those. If it's done, then click on save and continue. Now, okay, so first of all, you have to give the course duration. That is when the BTEC has started and when it has ended. Okay, so it's gonna be around 2016, right? So let's go to 2016. So for specialization, you can give software, uh, computer software technology, IT software development, it's your wish. Then click on save and continue. If you are from diploma, you can select diploma or if you are from the normal 12th grade, like uh, 10th and 12th inter first and second year, then you can select that one. Specialization is going to be MPC. Here as well, you have to give your course duration, but make sure that you're only giving the course duration of one year. That is the second year. So here it's mentioned that please mention only your 12th duration in your 12th grade details. Please do not add 11th duration in the same. So in this case, it's going to be 15 to 16. Now fill the details regarding your 10th class. If you have done any other courses, you can list those here. As for work experience, you cannot give your internships or training. So you can give your uh, details regarding like, do you have any break in studies or have you done any other courses or do you have any pending backlogs right now? So I don't have any of those. So I'm selecting no. And as for these details, you can uh, you can read those, but all of those normally will have the answer of yes. Then click on agree, then click on save and continue. Now list out all your languages that you know, but make sure that there is only one mother term. Okay. So if you have any achievements, then you can type those here in this box. So now you can upload the photo. So click on browse and upload. Then once you've done that, you have to upload your CV as well. Then click on save and continue. So for security reasons, you have to assure them that you don't have any cases on you. So now you can uh, preview your form. So click on application form preview. Click on agree and give the place. Then click on submit application form. Yeah. And after you've done that, you'll be presented with this dialog box saying that, would you like to apply for TCS recruitment drive? You have to click on yes. The thing is, once you have done creating your application, you have to apply for recruitment drive as well. So open recruitment drive and give a test date. Then the place is going to be, you can select from any of these. So Hyderabad is my place. So I'm going to select Hyderabad. Then profile interested in, I'm going to for digital and India. You can actually give a quick read through all of these instructions regarding the recruitment drive. See, it's clearly mentioned here that it is mandatory to click on apply for drive and choose a test center. So there's a note here as well. So your hard ticket will be sent to your email.